Scoliosis is an abnormal curvature of the spine that, if left untreated, can lead to medical complications. In order to understand scoliosis better, let's first take a look at a healthy spine. Small bones called vertebrae align in a series to compose the spine. Ligaments and muscles connected to the spine provide stability while allowing movement. A healthy spine has natural front-to-back curves. The curve in the neck area is called the cervical spine. The second curve forms a thoracic spine located in the upper back. And the third curve forms the lumbar spine located in the lower back. A healthy spine appears straight from a front or back view. Scoliosis causes an abnormal side-to-side -side curve of the spine. This affects the structure and posture of the rest of the body. One hip or one shoulder may appear higher than the other. The shoulder blades may stick out, and the body may lean to one side. Scoliosis is a progressive condition, meaning that it can get worse over time. If left untreated, a severe curvature can form, causing the vertebrae to rotate and move even further out of position. This can make it difficult to breathe or cause pressure on the spinal cord and nerves, causing pain and fatigue. So what causes scoliosis? Some people are born with malformed vertebrae, unequal leg lengths, or fused ribs that cause congenital, meaning born with, scoliosis. Neuromuscular conditions such as cerebral palsy, muscular dystrophy, spina bifida, and polio can also lead to scoliosis. In adults, scoliosis may develop because of degenerative changes in the spine, including osteoporosis, a bone weakening disease, and arthritis. In most cases, the cause of scoliosis is unknown, and this is termed idiopathic scoliosis. Mild spine curvature usually do not require treatment, but are monitored. Back bracing may be used to treat curvatures that are more significant for children that are still growing. Back braces use pressure to strengthen the spine. Physical therapy can help to strengthen the back and improve balance while sitting, standing, and walking. Occupational therapy can help improve independence with daily activities, such as dressing. Therapists can custom order seating systems that provide support and help maintain posture. Surgery is usually required for spine curvature that are significant because of the high risk of medical complications. Spinal fusion surgery is used to correct the curve in the spine and secure the vertebrae together. Children are screened for scoliosis in most school systems, and adults are screened for osteoporosis as they age. Regular monitoring and intervention may help scoliosis from becoming worse and allow the greatest amount of independent activity.